well, an outside intro. How about that? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Uh, here we are. It is Monday, so Monday has started. Had the coffee, and let's get the day going. Ready to head out to lunch, so we'll see you after that. Not sure where we're gonna go. Hopefully, it's somewhere where I can have some. Or I can actually eat something. <laughs> I'm kind of a. I don't like the food. The, the what they call the local food out here. I, I'm kind of more of like a you know hamburger fries and steak and potatoes guy <laughs> well just got back from uh, the lunch and everything and I did go for a walk but I didn't take the camera because the cameras at home <laughs> but um, this is another grocery store out here um, the uh, I used to actually work at this grocery store when I was like 14 years old, I think. 14 or 15, I think. It was like my very first job. And I remember <laughs> people that I worked with used to call it the uh, um, sack and slave. <laughs> uh, there we go. More stuff for you to look at. I guess you could freeze the video at this point so you can look at it all. But anyway, let's go out and look at the grease because we haven't looked at it, I think, for a couple of vlogs. Mainly because it was just doing the same stuff. It really wasn't changing, so. What? Hmm? You can't get up here. No lot, huh? You were the star of the show yesterday's vlog. Well, the uh, the grease seems all right. The grease seems like it's it's still kind of doing its its same thing. Um, it does seem like when it's hotter out, it has more of a it is softer in a sense so uh, checking my phone going back and forth with John this was kind of neat to show you uh, my uncle gave these to me today and these are um, 22 shorts and those of you that uh, may not know what that is a 22 long rifle and there's a short so he had these and this is really neat look at this this is so old 85 cents now this is interesting these are sh uh, shorts high velocity I didn't think there was <laughs> really such a thing so wherever these were bought at some sporting goods place for two dollars and nine cents Kind of cool. This is what is known as a big cat. She takes up the whole screen. Yep, that is literally the whole screen is the cat. Except for some space right there. Maybe a little bit right here. guys so check this out I want to show you something real quick here on the channel um, we ever I don't know if we've talked about this much in uh, the main channel Bat Jack JW but this is something a little bit of uh, I guess you could say the more things change the more they stay the same okay so a lot of times you hear a lot of terms uh, called the Series 80, Series 70, and 1911s and what all that means and everything. Well, this is a Series 80 Colt, but before we look at that, 
brought out the uh, the old uh, GI model. This is a 1943-44 something like that vintage. This one's in real good shape. It's still really nice and sound tight. It doesn't rattle as much as some of the other ones I've seen. Take the slide off that. Okay. And what you see is in here, this is what really what you're looking at. I'm gonna pull this one off. When I'm uh, taking these slides off and stuff, what I do is actually I put a small amount of pressure on that while I'm moving this back in and it just pops it right out. Makes it a little simpler to uh, take that thing out of there. Okay. All right, so if you notice on this one, there's a little button in there. And if you notice on the originals, they don't have it. And what that is, is a, is a firing pin stop. The firing pin cannot go forward unless that's depressed. Right in there. And what they did was they added in the frame. I'll pull the trigger or the hammer back and pull the trigger. You see it? That's what pushes it. And it adds to the trigger pull. And a lot of people that are, uh, I guess, 1911 kind of guys, they kind of don't really like this one because it adds your trigger pull. I must say, uh, uh, my honest opinion on the Colt, it's got a heck of a crisp trigger, even with all that Series 80 stuff in there. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with this being an older one or a more vintage one. I noticed uh, they did change the roll mark on the, on the side. Uh, it doesn't say Series 80 on some of them now I think it says like government model or something or um, or I, I'm not sure what it says on there but I I heard uh, one of the other guys bought a newer one and it doesn't say that although it does it does say uh, on mine at least the Colt government model this one says United States property <laughs> all right so anyway why did we bring out the Glock with all this stuff well Look at this, or uh, here, wrong slide. All right, the old Glock has it too. So in a sense, you can see how things just really, in an almost way, in a sense, stays the same. Now the Glock uh, uses a um, this little gizmo right here to push that uh, that up out of the way. And what it is really, it's, it's like a little button with a spring on it. So I just wanted to kind of show that to you real quick right here. Just um, I guess some of you found this kind of stuff interesting. The uh, last, uh, I think a vlog or so ago, we uh, showed a reassembling a 1911, so. At Walmart. Take care of your car. <laughs> so I'm at Walmart and went in to get some movies. I did find one good movie. That is Roadhouse. I was looking for that movie. I thought I had it. Here's the stuff from Walmart. I got. I got my iced tea. Roadhouse. Chocolate syrup. Could not buy the paint that I wanted because it was not on file so they wouldn't let me buy it. Look at all the choices you have down here. Dairy Queen, Sushi, Taco Del Mar which I think is hidden by this tree. Ultimate Burger which is a good burger joint but it's kind of pricey. Well it's more like a restaurant prices. Panda Express, Subway, you know, that's a haircut place. On our way to Target.
Yeah, you know, I like going into Target more than I like going into Walmart. I guess this is the thing is there's not much to choose from. Jeez, how many copies of Gladiator do they need? It's raining. It's raining, but not very much. Bought some of this tea tonight. Walmart. I think it was like a dollar something. Seriously, hundred tea bags. I, I always like this stuff, and ran out of it a while back, and never got around to buying some more. And I always say. Oh, I'm gonna go get some more, gonna go get some more, and always wind up forgetting, and been in Walmart or whatever. That's how they come. But I just usually toss about four of them in in the uh, in the pitcher. There we go, and this will be ready tomorrow. Guys, that's gonna be it. Uh, time to close out this vlog. Uh, a lot of different stuff it did today uh, man it today was just crammed with stuff got up kind of had a slow morning but just kind of lounged around had some coffee uh, went out to uh, lunch with my uncle that was good didn't take the camera um, I came back and what happened was those out I mean he's he lives right next door to me I was um, just kind of chatting with him in the uh, garage went for a walk um, camera was left in the room so didn't take the camera but I went for a walk and uh, just try to mm, lose some of those uh, pounds I gained at the Italian restaurant and uh, yeah <laughs> so I tried to eat uh, try to stay a little bit on the lighter side not to consume too much calories for today but anyway went back out <laughs> again uh, this evening and went looking around uh, went kind of in a sense DVD shopping I kind of wanted to check out some uh, get back into the uh, uh, Mel Gibson mood because he's got a new movie coming out it's called Blood Father it comes out on the 12th uh, we'll see if it hits theaters I hope it does because I really want to go see it I've been wanting to see that movie for a long time it looks good uh, I said it once I said it I'll say it again most of the actors that I like um, are up there in age or they've they've passed on <laughs> but anyway I uh, just found a cool movie today uh, going through the dump bin at the Walmart and usually I don't find anything in the dump bin that I like but uh, it's very rare and it's very rare that I'm finding something I'm looking for and what I saw as I was digging through there was pretty much this and um, yeah Roadhouse whoops it's upside down I thought I had this movie I really did I I knew I had it at one time and went digging around for it today because I wanted to watch it and I, I'm like what I, th I swore I had and I really I went digging through the collection of DVDs and I, I was certain I had it but I did not went to Walmart found it in the dump bin that's totally awesome found some stuff on sale I, I picked up some iced tea and uh, a nice beverage for uh, not all the time but I got some IBC root beer or cream soda I'm sorry they didn't have root beer darn it but it was on sale, so I picked it up, bought some snacks for myself, some cereal and, and whatnot. Just kind of did the uh, usual shopping and whatnot. But that's it. So I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday. We'll see. Um, oh, tomorrow, the uh, Thomas pistol, the 45, the delayed blowback, basically like a Walther PPK on steroids. If you think, think about it in 45 ACB. So check that video up. It's on the main channel, BatJackJW. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching the vlog today. I'll catch you later on tomorrow's video.